And isn't it wonderful to, in some ways, to have someone who's given a straight answer to a straight question? And of course, everyone comes to politics with some personal view. And Kate has come and brought to politics an unashamed view, an unashamed belief in Jesus Christ, in Christianity. And she said that that shapes the whole of way that she, the whole of the way that she does life. And indeed, I've just come from church this morning. And there it was wonderful to hear of the way in which Jesus Christ uh, served so much that he laid down his life for uh, every person. And the, mo and the motivation of those of us that follow Jesus is to love him, but also to really love our neighbor and to do justice, to do what is right, to serve the community. And what Kate... What Kate Forbes have done, has done, of course, here is to uh, explain very um, clearly and without being ashamed uh, what her moral beliefs are. But wouldn't it be a shame if we didn't know the truth about her? She's been unapologetic about it. No, I, I, as I say, I didn't want to get into an argument whether she's right or wrong. Um, uh, and there are two sides to the argument, clearly. I have a, uh, a gay couple that we are very, very close to. Uh, one of them uh, did not want to go down the road of a civil partnership and wanted to wait until they were able to uh, get married because uh, they happened to believe in church as well. And, uh, and they were patient and they got their way. So hurrah for that. But I, no, I agree with your point uh, that uh, I'm glad she spoke uh, openly. Uh, and it is a debate that needs to be resolved, although I happen to agree with John Curtis that probably there are, uh, there are bigger issues that need to be resolved in Scottish politics uh, just now. Uh, in your view, will it mean any of these policies will be revisited in Scottish politics? Well, I think that um, in some ways you're right, and certainly with the SNP being the SNP, the the, the, the issue that defines their party is, of course, Scottish nationalism. But, and Sir so John Curtis and indeed yourself have just said that uh, this seems, this is, this would be the most important issue. Well, it's certainly the issue around that which that party coalesces. But what society is talking about and what society has been talking about is some of these critical social issues. What does it mean to be human? What does it mean to be male and female? What is marriage? When and how should we have children? How should we educate our children?